Hey everybody, Dr. Schultz with the Centeno Schultz Clinic with another weekly update. We're continuing our uh, thoracic spine series, so thanks for checking in. Today we're going to be talking about the 11 major causes of thoracic spine tightness. So let's get started. The goals of this uh, short presentation include what in the world is the thoracic spine? What is thoracic spine tightness? and what are the 11 major causes that you need to know about. So the thoracic spine, as you well know, is that section of the spine below the neck and above the low back. It's depicted here. Some people actually talk about it as the mid back. It's that section in between the neck and the low back. And what is thoracic spine tightness? It's basically the sensation of stiffness or tension or discomfort. So let's get started and let's find out what are the 11 major causes. Number one is a thoracic disc injury. As you recall, the thoracic disc is a very, very important shock absorber. It's uh, depicted here in red. It's sandwiched between the vertebral bodies and it's susceptible to injury and degeneration. Common examples include a disc protrusion, a disc herniation, or a disc uh, extrusion. So all of these can cause thoracic spine tightness. Number two, a thoracic facet injury. Now a facet is a pair joint in the spine. That's to say there's one on the right and there's one on the left. And it's a really important uh, joint uh, that's lined with cartilage, just like your knee or your ankle, but it restricts excessive motion in the spine and doing so protects the spine. It, like the disc, is susceptible to injury and degeneration and can cause significant injury, particularly after a motor vehicle collision. It's the second cause of thoracic spine tightness. Number three are is ligament instability. That's right, ligament instability. So ligaments are thick pieces of connective tissue. They basically connect, as you see here in the illustration, bone to bone. And in doing so, they provide stability. Stability is key to, for the spine and the joints in our body. So if there is instability, either through degeneration or injury or both, you can have significant uh, pain and thoracic spine tightness. The next one is a costotransverse joint injury. Now the costotransverse joint sounds like a mouthful and it is. Um, it's basically the union of the rib and the transverse process the, uh, of the spine. The transverse process is basically an appendage that comes out to the side and it's depicted here. This room is from a bottom up uh, um, picture. This is the spinous process and this is the transverse process and the costotransverse is where the rib intersects with the transverse process and in doing so creates a joint like the thoracic uh, facet joint. The costotransverse joint has a uh, cartilage lining and it has a synovium basically a saran wrap that covers it. It is susceptible to injury and degeneration and can lead to thoracic spine tightness. The next cause of tightness is what's called central canal stenosis. So the central canal, as we know it, is basically a bony column. And as depicted here, this is a cross section. This is uh, the front of the spine and this is the back. This is where a disc will sit. And what we're talking about in terms of the spinal canal is through here. And what's housed in there is critical. It houses the spinal cord and the spinal fluid. And stenosis simply means narrowing. And that's depicted here. So there's basically narrowing of the central canal, which does not bode well for the spinal cord or any of the exiting nerve roots. There are many, many causes of uh, central canal stenosis in the thoracic spine, 
but they all can lead to significant pain, dysfunction, and tightness. The next cause, as we all are all too familiar, is poor posture. The excessive amount of screen time that we all have, as well as uh, using our, our phones as we walk, as we do exercise, as we virtually do anything, is leading to a national epidemic of extraordinarily poor posture. It compromises a neutral spinal alignment and puts the thoracic disc, the facets, and the ligaments at risk and can cause thoracic spine tightness. The next cause is scoliosis, as depicted here. You can see it's basically an abnormal twisting and curve of the spine. You can either have a C-shaped or an S-shape, and here's what you may see in an individual, just kind of a crooked back. This is uh, different, different levels of scoliosis, but they can certainly cause thoracic spine um, tightness. Another cause is muscle imbalance. As depicted here, uh, there's symmetry. And when right is equal to left, when the muscles engage in a symmetrical fashion, we have upright posture and we have a neutral spinal alignment. It's when we have muscle imbalance that we start having problems. We have problems with uh, posture, with function as depicted here, and it certainly can be a, a significant cause of thoracic spine tightness. Uh, uh, occupational, a physical therapist, and a chiropractor can be incredibly helpful in terms of identifying and treating muscle imbalance. Next cause is what's called uh, kyphosis. It's basically a abnormal rounding of the upper back. Um, it's, here's a picture of a normal individual and his posture. When you introduce a, uh, a kyphotic curve, you can get this curve right here. The head goes forward, the height of the individual is reduced, and you have an enhancement of the lordotic curve in the lumbar spine. It's the appearance of a hunchback. And you, we're seeing this with increasing frequency as a result of all the screen time um, that we enjoy. Next cause is vertebral body slippage. Basically, the vertebral body is depicted here. This is an x-ray here on the right. The vertebral body are those bony building blocks that stack one on top of the other. They constitute the spine. Um, now, unfortunately, and this is an MRI here, in a perfect world, they stack right on top of each other. But due to injury or trauma or both, you can have a slippage of one or more of the vertebral bodies either forward or backward. You can see this one here is going forward as is this one. This is an anterior listhesis, and this can cause significant injury to the disc, the facets, and the ligaments, thereby causing thoracic spine tightness. And then the last one is what's known as a compression fracture. Again, we're talking about the vertebral bodies. This is a side view of the spine, of the thoracic spine, and they stack one on top of the other, and sandwiched in between each of the vertebral bodies is in a very important cushion known as the disc. Basically, a compression fracture is a break or cracks in the actual bone as depicted here. Uh, it results in significant loss in the height of the disc. You can see the height here is this tall, but with a compression fracture, the height is reduced. And as a result of the reduction in the vertebral height disc, we often see a change in posture. Patients tend to lean forward and can actually go on to have a kyphosis. Um, osteoporosis, <clears throat> weakness in the bone, is the most common cause. Thoracic spine tightness, as you found today, can affect patients in a number of different ways. There are 11 major causes of thoracic spine tightness. If you or a loved one are being sidelined as a result of ongoing tightness and or pain or limitation, 
in the thoracic spine and have not responded to conservative therapy, consider giving the Centeno Schultz Clinic a call for a consultation. We are experts in the evaluation and treatment of thoracic spine injuries. You will have the opportunity to visit with a board, sided, a board uh, certified fellowship trained physician who will go through your history, what's going on in terms of what aggravates, what's alleviating in the treatment to date, and whether any regenerative treatment options may be in your future. Thank you again for checking in today, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.